recording back, I'm back yeah. It's been a long time I shouldn't have left you Without that gangster music You get ripped to I shouldn't have left you without that gangster music you can rap to. Oh. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, y'all? <laughs> it's your boy, my toys, back in the building. Uh, shoot from the hip show. I got my brother in the house. And uh, he's been fucking with me because I talk too loud. And we've been having the, the damnedest time getting this recording started. As I'm speaking, he's tweaking the damn mixer right now. Anyway, so. It's <laughs> a goofy ass dude, man. Hey, man. <laughs> and he, and he, I'm going to get on him too because he don't like to talk in the microphone, I've noticed. So, y'all know this is another continuation of. The intro to hip hop <clears throat> And my brother Bar anybody else Was the one I took this ride along with Getting into it So without further ado This my boy Iran My 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 damn near doppelganger But here you go man <laughs> Say something man Iran in the building man Doing this thing from 87 until 87 that, That's when it started huh yeah. All right, well, let's get right into it, man. When you were first able to get your own music, how did it go? As far as me buying music? Yeah. Or even picking your own music. Oh, man. Man, that Walmart, man. The, the infamous audio section at the Missouri City Walmart. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Man, I went in there and bought... Man, what did I buy? I don't know. I saw you go through some phases. So, I, I'd rather you tell it than I tell it. You know what? I'm going to be honest. The most music, <clears throat> the way I got most of my music was usually free. <laughs> yeah. And being that I didn't get a very, very nice lump sum of allowance. Right. And cutting grass didn't get it all the time. Right. I bought very little. But what I did do, of course, I listened to what you had. Uh huh. And um, I remember going to uh, what was the, the car show? And people were giving out CDs. Right. I would go up to Gills Records and Tapes and Gills get sample CDs. So I got a lot of sample tapes and sample CDs, and I played the radio nonstop. Okay. So I talked about. When dad took us to sound waves When we first got our vinyls Do you recall that? Yes I do Oh you tell me how that went Well sure man We went to sound waves And you got Bobby Brown Uh huh And I got Too Hype Kid and Play There it is I forgot the name of the album Too Hype Man I played some of them songs yesterday With them Jordans on. <laughs> Yeah No they had them 91 Air Maxes man No Them 90, 90 no. Air Max Bro I, I disagree with you We can google it Google it. You had you had the shoes. Yeah, I got them two years later. But they was hot when you got them. They just came out came out with different colors. I finally got a pair when the Dog. other colors came out. Man, I'm a, I'm a, those I'm those a they had on some. No, what they weren't the nineties because I nineties the ninety uh, Nike Air Max are one of my favorite pair of shoes. Said eighty nines. Man, the kid played too hype. Had them George, man. Oh, on the back side. They posed on the back side yes. with the Jordan 3s on. Okay, then. Well, never mind. I ain't got to Google it no more. Okay. On the front side. That's what I remember. They had on Air Maxes. All right. So, you do remember that because I spoke on it on a previous episode about us going to the record store and all that. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, after that. It Man, was why walk- you let me sit here peeking and you know I'm an audiophile? Well, I don't know, dog. That's your business. Okay. So, after that, it was Walmart for you and, and, and free music. And whatever yeah. I was listening to. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so after Kid and Play, what was the one you got into? Like, did, like really delved into? What was I into? Uh, let's see, Kid and Play, I was like eight, seven. 
so. <laughs> Cheering, man. That's why I always lock the door, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember a lot of a, a lot of um, what was the little boy group? Uh, of course, Young MC, because I memorized Young MC. Yeah, as I spoke on that, and that was like the thing when I was writing was right. like that was my go-to sound was to like kind of get that that young young MC flow. Yeah. Uh, poor righteous teachers. Yes, P-R-T. I know you talk on that one. Yeah, follow me now. See, see, I be rock. rocking. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't get away from rock, rock, rock that funky funk joint. joint. But I'm gonna tell you something that that was big for me. Um, crisscross. Yeah, that's one of them phases I remember you going through with the rubber bands in your hair. Well, that wasn't just because of Criss Cross. Well, I mean, that, that had a little bit of influence on it. It did because I I was always in I was in tune with hip hop fashion. Yeah, of course I wasn't shopping for myself, but that's true. I was in tune with hip hop fashion, so it was cool to watch, and I thought it would be even more cool to do, but I didn't see kids doing it. Right. So I wasn't quite sure you how were okay it like was. the only cat doing it coming up. I recall. Yeah, because once I saw that, you know, it wasn't a a adult only thing. Mm-hmm. Now I can do what I want to do because this is what I this is where I'm at in my yeah. head. This is where I'm at, but I'm not sure if you know at eight years old you were the first one in the neighborhood rocking the Gumby. I was the only one. Yeah, matter I of fact, think. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so go ahead. Yeah, I mean that. I always wanted to stand out. It was, it was always a tough thing to watch people try to put, you know, put you in a box. Yeah. For me, it was right. Not to mention the whole that's Monty's little brother thing. <laughs> I almost I didn't know, have a name for a while. I know you hated that. I know you hated. It. Yeah. Hey, but, hey, what can you say, man? I I was a decent big brother, man. Don't. Don't act like he was rough being my uh, little brother, man. Don't act like that. No, nah, it could have been much worse. Much worse. Okay, so it was crisscross was that, that, that shining moment for you. Yeah. Okay, after that, what well, would have been the next one in hip-hop? Let's see. What was I really into, man? Because now we got to go... It, it, I can't... I, after that... Everything was it was wide open. Yeah, it was what, wide what, open. Re- it was the youngsters. Oh yeah, it was ABC. Illegal. You remember illegal? Yeah, yeah. illegal. Fifth Ward juveniles. Uh-huh. It was everything that I could find that I could see that resembled what I where I saw myself in my head. Yeah. All right. Hey, that sounds good. I you named some stuff I forgot about. Just that quick, man. So we ain't gonna make this no long deal, but you were you a hip hop artist in your own right. Now I didn't bought your shit. No. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing it on this show. So go on give it give it a plug, man. So, you know, tell us what you got going. Oh man. I stay working so much I don't even notice it. Um uh, Close Doesn't Count is the album. Uh, available now, iTunes, Google Play. Amazon, Beatport, Beats Music, YouTube, and everything else, man. Close Doesn't Count by Il Ran. Um, I am working on another album with Dre Day, man, my old school homie from back when. Him with his incredible lyrical talent. And I got a, a couple of other things I'm doing, man, with Ken Fo, Jay Young. Guys that push What up, me. Jay? Uh, Another talent that came through last night, but he's he's staying low key right now, so I can't speak on it yet. But I'll slide one in there eventually, and you'll figure it out. But um, I actually spent a lot of time working on getting other people's music going. Yeah, I spent a lot of time because you're a prolific producer of this bad boy. Okay, how did you get into producing? How did how did that start? Well, that was like man, because I wanted to record, right. I wanted to hear what I sounded like. So I started with just 
pushing the play button on one tape player and the record button on another one and learning how to blend the sound. Yeah. So I had to put the speaker this close and wrap this close so that it sounds good together. Okay. So I was actually figuring out mixing when I was in like the sixth grade or whatever. Yeah. But man, you know, fast forward a few years of kind of keeping it to myself because everybody wasn't doing it and I didn't want to sound crazy trying to rap. Yeah. I finally come across some dudes that really can rap when I was about 15 and it was it was Dre. Yeah. And we were battling at Dulles High like when everybody else was screwed up. Like yeah. we was trying to spit the hardest, quickest, toughest rhymes. When everybody else was coming down, when everybody coming else was was recycling Lil Kiki's flow. Right, right. Fast forward a few more years, we in the studio. Uh, Thug Dirt, Heavy Rotation. I remember you took me to that studio. And uh, yeah, I remember that Heavy Rotation. Zero hollers that on, on one of the couple of songs. Yeah, I've seen Zero in there. Yeah. You see Papa Roo all the time. Papa Roo. Um, I we, stay rude. <laughs> <laughs> we Rudy. do a, me, me and Dre do a few sessions in there. You know, a guy brought us in under him to to kind of help him with his project. Come to find out, he was like the fakest dude you would ever meet. Wasted a bunch of our time, but we made the connect. So we in the lab, and like one day we went in there and did like a four hour session, man. And we and like I'm working at. At Popeyes And Dre I don't know what Dre was doing I know he was in school He was probably like Pocketing some of his Refund check from school Uh huh And we went in there man And spent like Three hundred dollars And got like Two songs Out of it And we was like man This ain't gonna work Yeah And he was like man look I could do this on my computer Dre was one of them dudes that was on the computers back when we was all doing, you know, playing we basketball. We playing solitaire. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> he playing solitaire on we the was, computer. We was trying to he find a game music. to play, and he was on, on the World Wide Web. So right. I went to his house, man. We figured that out. Started buying microphones and stuff. We started with the cheap stuff, and now we got much better stuff. But it was all really just, we were really trying to get away from that studio bill. Yeah. That was the whole thing. Like, it wasn't about me really trying to figure out how to be an audio engineer. I was a rapper. I was an MC. Yeah. And that bill was high <laughs> when you're 17. Yeah. And you making butter biscuits and spicy chicken for a living. Now, I forgot you worked at Popeye. That, that was funny. Was it? Yeah, yeah. It was funny to I me. just followed the neighborhood footsteps. Yeah. I remember when Popeye's ran out of chicken and they went to KFC <laughs> to go borrow some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a Frenchies. <laughs> Look at A style. I see you. Anyway, yeah, man. Yeah, got old bush chicken popping up. I ain't never heard of bush chicken, but no. I, I seen it. Yeah, well, we gonna, we gonna get into that later, man. But you gonna be back on the show. I'm about to close it out because uh, it's getting a little late, man. I'm getting dragged to this Loop Day Fiasco Wale you concert. You keep saying getting dragged like that's I a don't bad really, thing. I'm not a fan. I like Lupe. I don't like Wale. Wale is boring. Lupe is like, I, I, I get that. Wale like, is like. Nah. Maybe you got to be in the mood for Wale. Wale is boring as shit to me. That's just what it is. I know you a fan. I mean, you you the first one I heard about Wale from. And that yeah, that dude boring to me though. I'm sorry, I, man, I don't get it. I like old Will. <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> yes. Shoot from the hip, your boy this Montoya. Is shoot a from the hip. Production. Yes. Ill and there it is, man. I'm gonna catch up with y'all later. All right. Everybody wanna shine. shine. Everybody wanna be clean. Wanna be clean. Everybody on the grind. grind. Everybody wanna be seen. Wanna be seen. Everybody wanna ball. ball. Everybody wanna go hard. Wanna go hard. Everybody said it real. real. Everybody wanna be a star. Uh uh-uh. uh. I just do what I do. Tell them. I just do what I do. Let them know. I just do what I do. Tell them. I just do what I do. Already. Uh, I just do what I do. Tell them. I just do what I do. Tell them. I just do what I do. Tell them. I just do what I do. 
you know, coming back and giving more. Got them getting more looks than a sit That's what it's hitting for. Money in the envelope. Looking so cold, got them pulling out the winter coats. I can only do me and acting hard too. Stacking up bodies like a Mexican carpool. When niggas acting like hoes, like a yard tool. I be shopping in my veins like a shark tool. At the top of my game, I hear a few cats try to copy the flame. I am not entertained. We cannot be the same. Short sighted, you were not in my range. Made one me, then a mo broke. And we heard it all before like an old joke. And I ain't laughing with you. I see a pattern, nigga. I'm going over your head. You a goal post. That's what's the matter with you. I be pissing them off like a bladder issue. But it ain't really my fault. I already had them issues. I'm using a float like an automatic pistol. Word turning your brain matter to scatter tissue. I just do it like I always did it. Ain't a whole lot changing. Ain't a way banging. High hats rolling. For the boys with the doze out swinging. I'ma make the thing pop like a blowout tire. But I'm still rolling. You know I grind. I be spitting like a tech. When I'm going at your neck, but I aim high, so instead I blow out mines. I'm a diamond face Rolex, show out time. See these niggas flashing like train stops, but the flow is terminally ill, brain clock. And I'm low key, and the game's locked. Everybody wanna shine, everybody wanna be clean, wanna be clean. Everybody on the grind, everybody wanna be seen, wanna be seen. Everybody wanna ball, everybody wanna go hard, wanna go hard. Everybody say they real, everybody wanna be a star. I just do what I do. 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 From the word go, I let the word flow and keep it really the king dropping your fur coats. Freestyling like I'm working on fur low. Second place in you niggas leaving the third smoke. So play it back if you miss the line. Flow slicker than palm all the play that make your dishes shine. Move quick, make your vision blind. But I ain't trying to break the sound barrier. I just spitting rhymes. Recognize it's a different time. Everybody wanna get in, but everybody don't fit in. Everybody got a hook, try to fit trends. It's high not in your bladder, that's where the shit ends. I switch gears when it's time to hit the next level. Skip over the break, straight to the next pedal. And if your contract is written with demon hands, you ain't inheriting nothing. You just step. Devil. Yeah. Gotta rep better, yeah. that's how I gotta do it yeah. I'm the lighter fluid, yeah. you the tip of the cigarette The only thing left is a spark, the only reason I ain't lit it yet I'm connected like the internet, six degrees of separation to put me in the right places, and a quiet taste bending with the right chasers And a malleable flow fitting tight spaces I'm a no aces sitting in the desert with the water flowing And it's been a way ever since the day that I started flowing A lyrical manifestation of the art of war Enough artillery in my notebook to start a war But what I ever beg your pardon for? I meant what I said the first time, no point trying to reverse time Verbal shadow box rehearse lines And if I'm the enemy, then I'm the Worst kind, cause I'm everybody wanna shine, everybody wanna be clean, wanna be clean, everybody on the grind, everybody wanna be seen, wanna be seen, everybody wanna ball, everybody wanna go hard, wanna go hard, everybody say they real, everybody wanna be a star. Uh uh, I just do what I do, tell them, I just do what I do, let them know, I just do what I do, tell them, I just do what I do, already, I just do what I do, tell them, I just